Camille, how do they convince the man to finally give himself up? Well, you know what? They're keeping a lot of this close to the vest because this is still a very active investigation. But after seven hours, they finally negotiated with him enough for him to surrender peacefully. Now, I want you to take a look at some video that we got basically maybe 30 minutes before they got him. What you're seeing is they're actually bringing out a guest. They broke a window, firefighters did, to bring a guest out to get that guest out safely. They had cleared everybody out earlier, but this person was still in there and they decided for their safety to get them out through through the window rather than through the building. At that point, the suspect was still in one of the rooms in part of the hotel, not specifically saying exactly where, but they do say that this is a 38 year old man uh, with well known documented mental health issues. Uh, the suspect is, as I just told you, and then the victim, 55 years old, a hotel clerk just doing his job, a dispute over a bill. He had been staying, the suspect had been staying here, and the chief doesn't know if this was something over, you need to pay up and we need you to leave, or you owe us this amount, much amount of money. Uh, it's unclear on how long this person was staying here, but it happened on the third floor. Police aren't saying how many times that he fired shots, but they say that he did point guns the gun at police as they came around the corner, but he never actually pulled the trigger, but he had already killed his victim and then that victim taken to an area hospital and then died later. Uh, take a listen to the chief and then also to the mayor of Dearborn. Uh, the suspect is a 38 year old male who was taken into custody. Uh, he has a history of mental illness and drug abuse. You know, I've been a chief now for about nine months and uh, far too often we're running into situations with people that suffer from mental illness that are armed with firearms and the outcomes are often a tragedy. Prior to our arrival there was a shooting and it was a fatality. An individual was transported to a hospital where he was found uh, to be deceased. Uh, he's 55 years old from Riverview. He was a clerk here that was just trying to do his job. We know that there are broader issues at hand as it pertains to the mental health crisis that's ongoing not only in our region but in our state and in our country as well as accessibility to firearms and we're hoping that those in the right positions of power do act on this. It's about time that we had solutions. And this was really a team effort to get this ended peacefully. Law enforcement from all over, so many jurisdictions helping with this. Uh, seven hours, it was a very long night. Uh, our hearts go out to the man who lost his life just trying to do his job. Police were able to get everyone else out safely after shots were fired at him, but still just a horrible tragedy and something that could have been prevented. Reporting live in Dearborn, Camille and Mary Fox 2 News.